Okay, for anyone that has a, um, an Omnibus F4 or any other flight controller that's doing what mine did to me, so what would happen with mine is um, I could connect to it fine, um, but the minute I would, I would choose the correct um, board and the correct firmware, I'd load the firmware, um, and then I'd go to flash firmware, and the board would immediately disconnect, and then I couldn't connect to it again, um, let alone flash firmware, until I disconnect the USB cord, plug it back into the computer. Um, I've never had a pro. I always flash my um, F3 boards with uh, Betaflight. Never had an issue. It was just this uh, Omnibus F4, and actually any other. Uh, I have an SP Racing Evo, uh, which is an F4 that I also had uh, trouble flashing. So. Um, now I tried this with full chip erase on, full chip erase off, I've tried it with manual baud rate, I couldn't get anything to work um, until I found this driver fixer. So if you type in um, impulse RC driver fixer, um, you can click on this, this first link here, and it's actually impulserc.com. You're going to download the Impulse RC Driver Fixer. Now make sure um, if you've tried to flash it and your quad has disconnected, you unplug it and plug it back in like you're ready to connect to it again. And um, when you run the Driver Fixer, you want to make sure you have Google Chrome closed uh, and maybe even Betaflight. I had it open, but you might even want to close Betaflight. So run the driver fixer, it's going to locate your flight controller and install the DFU drivers for your flight controller and once you do that um, you will be able to go back into Betaflight and once it finishes it'll say drivers installed successfully or something and then close the Impulse RC driver fixer um, and then open Betaflight uh, leave full chip brace on, select your board and uh, your firmware version you want to flash load your firmware and click flash, flash firmware and it will work so I had so much trouble trying to figure this out um, I had a board I completely abandoned because I couldn't flash it and uh, all I had to do was run that driver fixer software and I I located that on a forum online uh, so I figured I'd make a video to help anybody else out that might have an issue okay thank you I hope this helps have a good day